The MFE is the second tier of energy storage device available. They're one tier above the bat box. If you're learning how to use industrial craft energy for the first time, I recommend that you start with the bat box and not the MFE. The performance behaviors of the bat box are the same with a lot of the higher level energy storage devices, making the bat box an ideal device to start with. To craft an MFE, you'll need 8 pieces of rubber, 1 gold ingot, 4 diamonds, 32 pieces of redstone, and 8 refined iron ingots. Combine the rubber and the gold to make 4 double insulated gold cables, combine the redstone and the diamonds to make 4 energy crystals, and then use the refined iron to make a machine block. Combine all of those and you'll produce an MFE. After you've placed the MFE, you can change the orientation of it by right clicking on one of the blank faces within Industrial Craft Wrench. It can be picked up by right clicking on it twice with the wrench, but if you hit it with a pickaxe, it will only drop a machine block. Just be aware that any energy inside the MFE will be permanently lost any time it's picked up. MFEs can store a maximum of 600,000 Industrial Craft energy units, which is the equivalent of 15 bat boxes. They'll accept power through input cables connected to any one of five faces. Uh, you'll notice that one of the sides has a dot on it. Now this side is reserved for energy output only, and connecting an input cable to it won't do anything at all. The MFE can receive up to 128 energy units per packet, and it will also output at a rate of 128 energy units per packet. Now this is where you need to be careful. The 128 energy unit per packet size exceeds the maximum capacity of both the copper cables and the tin cable. So if you try to extract energy from the MFE via those types of cables, they'll be destroyed almost instantly. In addition, all the low voltage industrial craft machines can only support a maximum input of 32 energy units per packet, so this means they'll also be destroyed instantly if you try to power them directly from the MFE. To stop this from happening, you've got a couple of options. Now the easiest way is to connect a low voltage transformer between the MFE and your low voltage machines. Uh, the low voltage transformer simply just converts the 128 energy units per packet into 32 energy units per packet so that it can be received by the low voltage machines. Uh, and your other option is to use transformer upgrades, although in some situations this may be expensive. 